So one thing that I was really uh, thrilled when I he heard uh, Candice from the talk that was that when she said that we are really powerful human beings. We really house the whole knowledge of the universe in a very usable way in our mind. Isn't that very exciting? Just to know that every problem that we have in our life, we have the solution. Just think about that for a minute. It's really powerful to know that everything that we really long for, we have inside. So the thing is, how can we have access to this? And in this training, if we start from the beginning, it's very important to ask yourself one simple question, who am I? Who are we as human beings? And one of the terms that you heard on the talk was opening intelligence. So this is a, a term that we use in the Balanced View training, and you can call it whatever you like. It's the same as awareness, perfect love, Brahma, Shiva, I don't know, everything. But in this training, we just call that opening or open intelligence. And why we are doing that is because we have so many concepts around the other terms, you could say. I had, for sure, when I came to this training. And Balanced View is not a new philosophy, it's a very practical training. And the term opening intelligence just describes in a very new and profound way what it really is. It's an intelligence that really opens up all your belief systems and all your concepts that you had before, maybe. So opening intelligence is your true nature. So a way to just tap into the, this very quickly now, as you heard, and that is mainly the instruction we have in this training, is to stop your thinking just for a while. Just when you see the train of thoughts coming up, you can just take a break there. And what do you experience? It's like there is something alert, something, something that is cognizant, wide open, that you have to give some attention. Otherwise, it would just sink into the background. So what we do with this, this practice when you stop thinking <coughs> or taking the short moments is that you introduce yourself to this about yourself. So that is another key concept here, short moments. So that is the practice here. So it's just an invitation to try this simple practice over and over again and see what happens when you do that. So what you see immediately is that when you stop your thinking, it just lasts for a very short brief time, and then the thoughts comes back again. So here we can also see very directly that you can't control your thoughts and emotions. And that was for me such a relief, because I, have, I was really involved in that kind of practice, trying to purify my thoughts, trying to change them into positive thoughts, and it, it really doesn't work. You can see that very clearly. Maybe you can do that for a while. You can neutralize anger, for example, for a while by trying to use your mind in that way that you say to yourself, as I did, I'm a spiritual person. I shouldn't be angry. I should just have positive, loving thoughts. So when I felt angry, for example, I tried to handle someone a flower instead, something like that. But what you see is that it doesn't last, it comes back again. Your anger comes back again. So another really key concept that she explained in the training here was what we call data. And data is everything that you can experience in life. Thoughts, emotions, sensations, body sensations, everything. But what we do as human beings is that we basically live our life as a kind of a sorting machine. We have our positive thoughts that we really want to hold on to and the negative that we want to get rid of. So if you look at the way we are using your mind, you can see that we really mainly have two options always in the way we are using our mind. Either we try to change the content, the data, or we just let them be as they are in short moments. So you could also see that the data that we are experiencing are really the dynamic energy of open intelligence. The only way that we can experience open intelligence 
is data, the dynamic energy. And we can see that everywhere in the nature, if you have a look, everyone now instinctively that the rainbow that appears in the sky self-dissolves into the sky. So it's a part of the sky, it's not a separate nature. And that, that is just exactly the same way that all our data, our thoughts and emotions relate to open intelligence. They are one and the same. So this is a great equalness that we experience in open intelligence. And you can even say that without open intelligence you can't stand your data. You would just hate them and try to get rid of them. So what we do with the short moments is that we clarify them, you find the underlying basis of all your thoughts and emotions and data, and that is open intelligence. So the difference from this training and everything I experienced before Balance to You was that I had a very simple practice to check this out in every single moment when I experienced that I was trying to change what I was experiencing. And of course I did that because it was painful. But what I saw when I took the short moments in the beginning was that there was something totally unnoticed before that was really, really stable. And because I have been so caught up in trying to change it, I couldn't sense this stability. And I couldn't, I couldn't sense, or I couldn't experience this great equalness of data and open intelligence. So more and more, the more I practiced short moments, there was this kind of soothing energy present. So that is very powerful. And if you really look into what we call positive data, you can see that there is no motivation to try to get rid of them because it feels so good. So what we do with positive data is that we just see that we cannot hold on to them. So then you can see that positive, negative and neutral data are one and the same. It's just a label that we put on them. It's the same dynamic energy. It's just that we are so trained in describing them as positive and negative that we can't really experience deeply see that they are just the same. So when you are very angry, for example, I, that was very powerful for me to see that when I was really angry, I was so convinced that I was angry because of my partner doing something, for example. And if you follow that train, so to speak, and if you jump on that description and really, really believe that, that's the only thing you're going to see. But when you take a short moment and just relax and let it be as it is, you immediately get a balanced view. You see more clearly that if you stop yourself and not indulge, avoid or replace the anger, you would see that it opens up the perception for you. I could start to see that maybe I also have a part in this anger interaction playing out. So I could see very practically in my life that these just short moments really opened up the perception for me. So that is the way that we can handle all our perceptions and all our data in life. A very simple practice, but very profound. So what I could see when I was applying other things, like meditation or reading about open intelligence or the perfect love, was that it was just a concept for me. I couldn't really find a practice, a simple practice that really led to the experience of what was described. So I was really thrilled when I came to the training because here for the first time, at least for me, there was this practice. So yesterday um, I, had, I had my birthday a few weeks ago and one of the uh, presents from the trainer was the, a rafting tour mm -hmm. on the river here. And that was really exciting. I mean, it's not like we are just sitting on our ass all day and just resting. I have never seen so active people as I see in, in Balanced View. Before I came to the training, I had an ordinary job. I was working between nine to five. Now I'm totally retired, but I'm more active than ever. So what you would see is that when you don't use your mind in this way to try to neutralize your data, all the energy that we are putting into trying to control this flow that we really can't control. 
then you have access to all that energy again. So when you, it's, I mean, it's just amazing to see how so much effort you put in to try to control this flow. And when you don't do that anymore, and when you relax, body and mind, you just have so much more access to this very vital life energy that can only come about if you don't are so caught up in this description of this describing process. So you actually become even more active, I would say. So I could see when I came to the training that I was very self-focused, very, very self-oriented in trying to change all my data. And very gradually I started to see that when this is not the case anymore, I have so much more energy to move beyond just being totally caught up in myself, I would say. So all this life energy came, it just very naturally came about that I was more interested in how I could support other people because I was not so caught up in myself anymore. So just very naturally, I started to be of more benefit. I started to extend my activities, you could say. And of course, we all recognize that when we are really in love, for example, or we are, when we are falling in love, it's just very natural to just not keep that love or life energy for ourselves. We really want to use it. So very, in a very natural way, you just come to a place where you want to be of benefit. <laughs>